Hey guys, Courtney Mermaid here, and welcome back to my channel where I bring you mermaid related content to help you guys live life so mermaid. And in today's video, we're gonna have a bit of a what could we call this? Like a chat sesh, if you will. Uh, my patrons voted and they wanted to see a Christmas tree decorations, uh, well, like a decor, mermaid decor for Christmas kind of video. And um, they also, so it was tied in the poll, they also wanted to see a funny story or a mermaid story and I have been absolutely killing myself over this trying to figure out what on earth I could tell you guys. I don't have like, I mean I have some stories but they're so short that I honestly couldn't think of what I wanted to say so I actually have nothing scripted. I am sitting here <laughs> winging it for the fifth time in a row because I kept messing up my intro. It's epic you guys. So I want to tell you guys, because it's, you know, tis the season, am I right? Um, I want to tell you guys a bit about what mermaiding means to me at this uh, sort of time of the year. Uh, for those of you who don't know me personally, um, you know, I've got some sensitivities around the holiday season. I get a little bit bummed, I get a little bit sad, you know, various reasons. I won't, you know, get into all the nitty gritty, but um, the holiday season can be a bit hard, as it can be for, for many people. and. What I chose to do this year as I was struggling, oh, so struggling, you guys, oh my goodness, it's, as I record this, it's November 30th, and I, yeah, I was a bit of a gong show, a bit of a messy mermaid there, just everything was kind of really bumming me out, and, you know, I went to see The Grinch, and before y'all hate on that movie, Okay, The Grinch was actually a really cute movie, and I have my reasons for loving it. Again, if you know me personally, you'll un you'll you'll get it. You'll get why I relate to that little Grinch, <laughs> and I just I got reasons. But um, but as I sat there and I watched it, and I was like, yeah, hang on now, family and like friends and and like my pod and my fishes. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of realized that the magic of Christmas, or Fishmas in this case, isn't actually, I mean, it's obviously not the stuff, you know, I mean, I get that, it's, it's not, that's not what Christmas is about, I've always kind of understood that, obviously, as a kid and stuff, you know, you get presents, but I think this year it kind of really hit me that, you know, the holidays and like Fishmas slash Christmas or, you know, it's, it's about it's about your pod and about your family and about your friends and about the time that you get to spend together and and it was kind of this beautiful like realization that I wanted to share with you guys so it's not so much a story as it is just me feeling incredibly grateful and blessed to to have such a mermaid community um, you know around me and you know, there's so many mermaids to thank for that. Uh, Nerd Maid Faith, like, huge shout out. I mean, she has, you know, tirelessly worked to bring all of these mermaids together, countless meetups, you know, Teresa um, works so hard at it. Um, Biosa, who is like my rock when it comes to hitting the pool, she's like, hey, we go, we go. We film, we do. You know, my, my sea sister, Mermaid Kim, you know, these are some amazing uh, women that I'm surrounded by who, you know, in a season where I get really down and really lonely and, you know, it's not like I'm alone, right? But it's, it's just like, it's just, <laughs> if you understand, you understand. If you don't, you don't. It is, it is kind of what it is, right? But I wanted to, to just, to just say that like, even when you're feeling like a little bit lost, you know, it's okay to lean on your pod and, and let them know and just be like, hey, you know, I'm struggling or, or, you know, I just need some time with my fishes, you know what I'm saying? So, it's important to spend time with the people that that can help, I don't know, not bring you up, because that's, that's your responsibility. Like, happiness, I've always kind of believed, is an inside job. If you're unhappy, you need to look inward and see what's going on. Obviously, outward, you know, forces can contribute to this, but, but I've always felt like, you know, you want to surround yourself by the people that you, you, you know, look up to or that you want to be like or that inspire you or help fuel the passion, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just so fortunate to have uh, some amazing women um, in my world uh, who who help, uh, help me with that, especially when it comes to the mermaid stuff. And it's just, you know, I kind of came to this because I have no problem 
at all finding the magic in, mer in mermaiding, you know what I mean? Like, I have no problem pretending or, you know, um, imagining or creating this, this mermaid magic, but it seems when it comes to the holiday seasons, I get kind of, I get kind of stuck in this, like, uh, <laughs> in this funk, if you will, where I'm like, hmm, how can I be happy? Where is the magic? I don't know exactly what I'm doing with, uh, my life. So, <laughs> So it was kind of my way to like, you know, incorporate, um, I guess, the, the mermaid magic sort of into Christmas because I don't celebrate Christmas from a, a, a religious standpoint, right? You know, my family's not particularly religious. Um, so when you don't have religion to, to, to lean on um, to celebrate the season, I'm, you know, air quoting here, the season, um, you know, what do you do it for? What's the reason? And I'm the kind of person who needs like a reason, you know what I mean? I need like something tangible I can chew on, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, there's the visual. And, um, and so mermaiding just kind of is just another way that mermaiding has, has helped me over this year, you know, there have been so many ups and downs uh, when I quit my job and decided to do this full time. And there have been so many ups and downs emotionally, financially, <laughs> and just in life in general. And, you know, mermaiding has just been this amazing thing that I've been able to, you know, hold on to with both hands for dear life as my, as my world just kind of, you know, rocks me around there a little bit. So, I have this quote up on my wall that says, uh, smooth seas don't make good sailors. And now I'm trying to think of where on earth I, I saw that or wrote that down. I think it was on Pinterest, honestly, that I had seen somebody who had a pretty little quote embroidered on something. I don't know. <laughs> and I've kind of been like, I just felt like it was so fitting because I am going through so many, like so many things. And it's so true. Like, when I look at the rest of my life and the things that I've gone through, you know, without those things and without those experiences, you know, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. And so even when I get blue, you know, that I'm not in the industry that I had always thought was going to be exactly everything that I wanted it to. And when it let me down and it wasn't what I was going to do anymore, it was like, I couldn't make the mermaid tales that I make without all of the knowledge and all of the skills that I've acquired over the years from schooling and, you know, industry experience and that kind of thing. So, you know, no matter kind of where you're at is where you're at. Um, I'm writing a book about that actually right now. Once I get through it, then I'll do a little, I'll do a little spiel on it. Um, but yeah, that, I know that just became like a really convoluted, like <laughs> the old run around. But I just wanted to, to say um, to all of you out there, you're all part of my pod. Like if you're here on my channel, you're subscribed, you're watching my videos, you're commenting, you're part of my family, my extended mermaid family. And when I see, you know, those of you who comment consistently, um, especially you guys mean like, I do remember you and I do recognize you when you post and you comment. And even if I don't reply, I, I do actually read through everything. I do, I do sit there. I give myself an hour every day and I go through all my emails and my comments and all my things. And you guys mean a whole lot more than you'll ever know, um, to me. And you know, the same with my Patreon pod, um, any of the mermaids who've, who've were, you know, my, my guinea pigs, as it were, my sponsored mermaids, um, my new ambassadors, all of you guys, you know, uh, you all mean so much to me, right? I, I just, oh yeah, not gonna get emotional while I'm recording dialogue. I don't even know how long I've been recording for, about nine minutes. Do you really think I've got nine minutes worth of footage to go along with this? I certainly hope so. Um, but yeah, these were some decorations. Um, I used a Crayola, and it was Crayola, right? Uh, mix that just like air dries. And so the blue ones were ones that I sculpted uh, during the sitting and the white ones were ones I actually sculpted for a video about four years ago that I never used. It might have been might have even been more than four years ago, now that I actually think about it. But uh, I've had them forever and just finally decided to to do something about it. So made some nice ornaments, super happy to have them on my tree, feeling pretty good about it. And I'll do a video as well. Um, I haven't filmed it yet. I'm going to film it hopefully tomorrow. Well, actually, no, not tomorrow. 
gosh, guys, where? Heh, it's already December, you guys. Whoa. Um, but yeah, I do have to do a video on that, so stay tuned. Um, and uh, that's really, I'm going to kind of wrap that up there. I just want to say again, a huge shout out um, and a big hug. You know, no matter what you celebrate this time of the year, um, I'm thinking about you. And I just want to thank you guys all so much for everything that you do to support me and my little business and each other. You know, when I see you guys commenting on other mermaids when they post or they ask questions and I see you guys interacting like, I don't know if you guys all know, that's actually the dream for me, is the community, is to build a community where we're all building each other up, where it's not this competitive, like, whose flunk is bigger type situation, you know what I mean? Where we're all, you know, the positive and the love and the building each other up together as a community like that means a whole lot to me so thank you everyone and that's where I'm gonna leave this for now I'm thinking of starting a podcast I've actually been thinking of that for about a millennia now actually I've have even documents where I've started planning from like years ago but I didn't have a good mic and now I do so I don't know it's something I'm thinking about you know there's a certain other podcast who really inspires me and I feel like I could contribute to the you know the community in some way as well so uh, if you don't know who I'm talking about by the way oh my goodness you need to check out the everyday mermaid podcast drop what you're doing you go just do the thing because it's <laughs> they're so <laughs> Abby and Lauren, you guys, I don't know if you're gonna watch this, you're gonna hear this, you're gonna listen, but dang, girls, I love listening to you so much. It just, it, that's another thing, totally brightens my day, totally brightens my day. Anywho, on that note, I am gonna leave you here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod. We would love to have you join us. Uh, and if you don't want to say goodbye just yet uh, and you're curious about the lovely little fishes who brought you today's video, uh, be sure to swim on over to patreonpod.com, which is our extended pod community. Links and everything will be in the description box down below for you to check out. That's where I'm going to leave you. All right, my little fishes, thank you so much for watching slash listening. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy swimming. Bye.